What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a special team for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a triple horse team. Yep, you guys heard that right. We got Spectre, Glacier, and the brand new horse that I never used on this channel before. Actually, I might have used them like once or twice, but haven't used them in a good bit. That is Galarian Rapidash. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, the support has been blowing my mind away. Thank you to everybody who subscribes to the channel, likes the videos, or just tunes in and watches them. All of them really do go a long way. But I saw this team and I was like, I have to use it because double horse is already broken enough. Bringing a third horse, it's going to be game over. And I don't really ever use Galarian Rapidash. And it's one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen 8. I just think it's such a cool Pokemon and it deserves a little bit more love. But getting started with this team, top left corner we have Life Orb Regilecki. I never use uh, Life Orb Regilecki in my videos, so this one's going to be fun as well. This thing's able to hit like a truck. We got Wild Charge, Bounce, Extreme Speed, and Protect as its moveset, Transistor Ability, and then like I said, Life Orb as its item. Right next to him is going to be the first horse for this team, and that is going to be Spectre. This is going to be a nice little support horse with Grimnay, Focus Ash so we don't get one tap, Shadow Ball for Stab, Taunt for Support Mons, Protect, and Snarl to drop Special Attack on opposing Pokemon Special Attackers. Middle left is going to be Tapu Fini, normal moveset, great Pokemon for this team. Misty Surge, leftovers get a little bit more HP at the end of the turn. Dazzling Gleam Skull, both for Stab, Protect, and Calm Mind to set up. Incineroar right next to him, and this Incineroar set is the best one. I love this one so much. We got Intimidate as its uh, ability, so we come in, get a physical attack drop. A Guav Berry as its item, so we get a little bit more HP when we fall below like 3 fours. It's something around there. Flare Blitz for a Stab move. We got Snarl for special attack drop. Fake out for first turn flinch, and then we got party shot for a pivot move, and it gets that attack slash special attack drop. So we got a lot of uh, special attack drops here. It's going to work well with this team. Glacier in that bottom left corner, he is going to be another great mon to just sweep out Pokemon, just like Regilecki. We got Chilling Nay as his ability, so we get an attack boost every time we pick up KO. Weakness policy, once we get that thing proc, we're going to be buzzing out here, dominating with that Pokemon. And then the moveset is Heavy Slam, Protect, High Horsepower, and Icicle Crash for our stab move. Final Pokemon is going to be the heart and soul of this team. The reason why I picked it, the third and final horse, we got Galarian Rapidash over here. Pastel Veil, that's just probably his best ability that you can choose from. It, 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 so if anybody gets poison on the team while he's out there, he will take it off them. It's only for poisons. I wish it worked for like other uh, status conditions. That would make that ability a lot better. But still, that's his best one he has. We got the Baviri Berry. Four steel moves. We can circle up a shot. We got his moveset of Mystical Fire, which can proc weakness policy on the Glacier. Charm to drop physical attack. Heal Pulse to heal ally Pokemon and ally switch to protect ally Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. Plus, if you guys want to check out any EVs or stats, we got that Pokey Paste down in the description below. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this triple horse team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one, going up against a Metagross and Galarian Moltres team alongside Wimscott for that Tailwind. He also has Regilecki, Suicune, and Anthony. So pretty cool team right here. Not heavy meta, but still really, really strong looking like. Um, I don't know who I'm going to go into. I kind of want to go into Rapidash and get Glacier popping in there as well. I feel like that can be decent here. We can prop weakness policy, go double horse and roll out from there. He has clear body on the Metagross. Got to watch out for that. I feel like bringing in Spectre in the back end. That could be really good, to be honest with you guys, because I can pop in there, get a special attack drop, and roll out from there. Or would Incineroar be a little bit better? I mean, I do have Snarl on him, don't I? Right? I'm rocking Snarl on this guy, right? Yeah, I am. So I think Incineroar might be a little bit better, considering we can come in there for a fake out, and we can do a lot with that action. So I'm going to enter him and then Regilecki as our final spot. But guys, let me know for question of the day. This kind of goes along with uh, last video's question of the day. But what Pokemon are you excited to use in Pokemon Unite? Because that game comes out in less than a month. And I cannot wait to get after it. And I've been thinking of Pokemon that I really want to main for that game. And I'm thinking Greninja is going to be my choice. I think Skeptile's in there too. So I'm thinking I'm going to be trying him out. But Greninja's looking so dope. Cannot wait to get after it with him. Definitely let me know your guys' answers down in the comment section down below. Also, we've been on a tear for these ranked double battles. We're sitting at back-to-back -back perfect records. If you guys haven't checked out the past two videos, definitely go check them out. Hopefully, we can get a winning record here. Or maybe even better, get our first three perfect records in a row. We have never done that before. Never, not once on the channel. Never. Hopefully we can get that going. But it all starts here in battle number one. He's going to drop the Entei. He's got inner focus and he has a clear body. But Glacier and Rapidash is going to come out here. Run it. Run it up. Let's get it going. Um, I am just going to proc uh, weakness policy with this mystical fire. Get that going. And then I could just drop a nice little max quake. But who would I want the max quake to go after? Is the real question. Do we want to get after this Metagross? 
Or do we just want to take out the Entei? I just want to take, take out the Entei here. I mean, he does have Steel. So he's going to proc my policy regardless. Hmm. What do I really want to do here? He's going to proc my policy regardless. Uh, let me see. Oh, no. I really want to see uh, what's called speed. I really want to see uh, Glarian Rapidash's speed. Oh, so is he not Dynamaxing or is just Glacier faster? That's me. That's me all day. So I was going to check out Glarian Rapidash's speed and maybe just heal pulse and have the Metagross go into him and then we just heal pulse up if he was uh, Glarian Rapidash was slower. But I think he's going to be faster than this Metagross. We get some big HP here. We don't see a Dynamax unless we're just faster. Nope, no Dynamax. And Entei's just going to drop Sacred Fire here, which is totally fine. That's easy eats for Rapidash. And Rapidash go. There goes the Mystical Fire. Beautiful. We're proccing policy all day. We proccing policy all day. We're going to drop this Entei heavy here. And I wonder what uh, that Metagross is going for. Hopefully he's going for the Rapidash. I'll be totally fine by that. Let's see. Iron Head's going to come through here. And he is going to double up into this Rapidash. Rapidash already did his... Uh, did his job. It's gonna drop here. No way it's eating that up even with the Babiri Berry. We're only down to 55 HP. And yo, I'm with that all day. We got the policy proc. We're gonna get off this max quake. Hopefully this Entei's not Sash. I really don't see it being Sash. Maybe it's a uh, AV, a Soul Fest it. Let's just see what happens here. There's some big damage and it's not. There we go. Get that thing out my face. Get it out of here. Good job, Glaring Rapidash. Um, I think I'm going into what's called as of now. I wish I would have went after a Metagross now. Now I should go after a Metagross. <laughs> we are boosted. We are boosted like crazy. I could go on the Regilecki. But I feel like I just saved him for the back end. Let's go into Incineroar. I could Snarl if he throws out a special attacker. I could fake out. I could do a lot here. Hopefully he throws another physical attacker. We're going to do nothing to this Metagross because he's clear body. But this Intimidate could be good. Nope, yeah, it's going to be Sweet Coon. Sweet Coon, who I'm totally going to fake out here. I think I'm just going to drop a big old Max Quake. Jeez, you got, what, you got double inner focus and clear body? You're just not messing with it. <laughs> You're just not messing with it. We're just going to fake you out, and i still going to max quake. I'm plus three now. Hopefully, we can pick up this KO on the Metagross, but I see him Dynamaxing. That's what I see happening. Hopefully, he doesn't. That'd be really, really nice, because this Glacier is running things right now, but I'd be surprised. Yep, there it is. I was going to say, like I said, I'd be surprised if he does Dynamax. going to end up Dynamaxing this Metagross. It's got to be the Metagross, right? It was shoddy Dynamax this weekend, right? Yeah. There's the Metagross. Now we got a battle. Now we got ourselves a good battle. The good thing is, uh, what's called? Does, uh, no. We do not outspeed that Metagross. That's our problem. But I feel like we eat up a Steel Spike all day. There goes our Fake Out. Fake Out coming in hot. And here goes a Skull. And you're Scalding into me. Oh, he's in our focus. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, we eat that up easily. We, we should still be able to eat up the Steel Spike, right? Yeah, all day. But he does get a defense boost. Dude, what am I doing? I saw that Intimidate, and I saw the Inner Focus, and I totally forgot about that flinch. Ridonculous. Max Quake comes in here. Oh, dude, he's rocking the berry. That's huge for him. That's honestly huge for him. Gonna be able to do that. Uh, do I do I guard here? I feel like I have to guard, right? That berry's soaking things up. Big old special defense boost for our instant war. We still have that red select. He's really, really nice here. But we have to get rid of this thing. We have to get rid of this thing. So I am gonna end up going into a flare blitz onto you, and then uh, just guarding. I feel like we, I feel like we have to waste out turns here. That's probably our best bet. That's probably our best bet. Dang, we totally should have went for the flare blitz last turn. It's just my fault. It's too early in the morning for me, man. Woke up early to record this one. It's too early in the morning for me. <laughs> you guys are probably like screaming at your screens like, yo, Gene, you just saw that. You just saw he had inner focus because of the Intimidate. But here goes Skull popping over here. That should be easy eats for you. And I don't see him reading the max guard at all. I feel like he's going into a steel spike, right? Here goes Flare Buds. Bang. Doing some good damage there. And show me you're coming after me with the steel spike. Show it to me. Yep, there it is. Steel spike gets the block. We're wasting our turn. Okay. So, like, we're not sitting bad here. Not at all. Not at all. Because we can eat up another Steel Spike easily. Or not Steel Spike, another Scald. The best bet would be going into this. Do that, and then go into, I guess, High Horsepower if we can connect with it. Because Regilecki will have no problem taking out that uh, Suicune. Let's see how this rolls out here. Scalds can come out here. Another easy eat. If he gets burned, I'm, I'm going to be upset. Let's see what happens here. 
There's my guav berry coming in hot. The guav berry's looking really nice here. I'm really digging. Really digging the guav berry. The flare blitz comes through. So we can eat up another flare blitz. Well, not another flare blitz. Another scald. And Glacier goes down here. There's a defense boost. But we eat up another skull, which means we can get off another Flare Blitz, which means we can take out Metagross next turn because this Dynamax is over and my Regilecki can take out Suicune, outspeed it no problem in one shot. I don't think we're sitting bad. I don't think we're sitting bad here. I don't think your boy's sitting too shabby here. Let's just see how this plays out. Let's see how this plays out. Because Regilecki should be able to outspeed what's called all day. Weekend all day, and again, like I said, another flare bush should do enough, even though he's plus two. Yeah, that's plenty. That's plenty. For Get that thing out of my face, Reg Lucky. Let's wild charge with that life orb. Should be able to take it out, no problem. But we should take a decent amount of recoil damage, which scares me a little bit. But then we should bring it down to a 2v1. Let's see how this plays out. He's a little scared, he's a little scared here, and I know he is. But Glacier did a, a good, good work. He did do good work alongside with that Galarian Rap Dash. All we needed to do was get that Polish Rock. I didn't mind he took him out. That was totally fine. But we would have had an easy win if we would have just targeted the Metagross turn one. But I really did think he was going to die max. Oh, but here comes an ally switch. Okay. Wild Charge should still be able to take you out, right? Okay, that's fine. An ally switch on a Metagross? Okay. I'm digging that. I take a little bit of recoil damage. Flare Bus can come in here. Hopefully. Oh, he's going for. Ooh. Smart cookie, but my red like he's physical attacking. That's your problem. Actually, we're both physical attacking. You tried, you failed. Smart play, though. I give this dude mad props. Boy, what's gonna pop in here? Let's see how this rolls out. Bang, no damage on that thing. Okay. So now we have a, a decent battle here. Now we have a decent battle here. Who's this last Pokemon? That ally switch really, really puts him on the map here. It's gonna be Red Okay. Now I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz into you, and I'm just going to Wild Charge it. This thing could protect and get a slowdown. Is he going to protect? He's just going to E-Web. Regilecki, I still need you outspeed. If Regilecki outspeeds, we have a shot here. I need my Regilecki to outspeed. Come on, Regilecki. Doom Dirty. Doom Dirty. You are a very fast Pokemon here. Yes, mine outspeeds. We say bye to you, right? We don't. Not a shot. No way! No way! I was so convinced that this Regilecki was going to take you out. No way. Scald comes popping through, though. That's GG's. That's GG's! No! Dang, I was so convinced that that Wild Charge was one tapping up on that. I Oh, my lord. Wow. We're just going to have to run that battle, and there goes our win streak. Dang, guys, solid first battle. We're going to hop into our second battle now and try to get our first win for today's video. Getting after battle number two here. I'm surprised we lost that last one. I really did think Wild Charge would take out that Suicune in one turn, but that ally switch, I was not expecting that. Really came up clutch and clutched him up that battle. But looking for our first win. This guy has a thunderous team, so we got to watch out for our Intimidate drops or our stat drops in general. He also has the Mail and DD. Then he has the, uh, what is that? The Torkoal, really, really strong Trick Room Pokemon. The Urshifu, the Aselgore, really scared me. I don't know what that thing's going to do. Gonna do something crazy, and then he has a Regilecki as his final Pokemon. But that Thunders could be Prankster, or it could be Defiant, could be either one. So I don't really think I'm gonna bring it in Incineroar. I could go Glacier at for turn one with the Rapidash combo again, which isn't too bad. I'm not even gonna lie, it's really not that bad for this whole situation. So I think I am gonna do that. I'm gonna double down on you two and then roll into probably bring an Urshifu. I'm gonna bring Finny, and then in the final spot, Regilecki could be pretty good, but at the same time, I think. Incineroar could be a little bit better. Actually, I feel like we're going to need a little bit more attack here. Hmm. That'd be decent speed at the end here, too. Let's run it. I said, wait, actually, let's uh get Incineroar. Let's get Incineroar. I know he has that Defiant, but that Urshfu is just scaring me, and we know he's bringing in that Urshfu. I do have the top of Finny to counteract it, but I, I just still see it being scary, and we can have a fake out in the late game. But we can have the fake out in the late game, like I said. Like I said, but we're going with the Glaring Rapidash and the Glacier combo again. You guys already know what they say. Second time's charm, and it's going to work here. We're going to get that win. It was close one in the, second one in the first battle. 
But he's doing something crazy here. And I don't know what he's doing. He's scaring me, man. He is scaring me. We're double horsing it. Look at that. Double unicorn horn kind of thing. And the surge is popping. The psychic surge is out in this bout. Suggle, what are you doing? He is scaring me. Because I don't know what he does. He gets the special defense. I feel like he's got to go. I think we got to tell him to go home. Let's Dynamax. Let's go into this. Let's take out Mail and DD. And we're just going to Mystical Fire. Proc that policy. And go from there. Let's just do that. Let's just, let's just do that. See how that works out. Because the special defense boost is going to be really nice for the squad. Just confused to as what he's going to do. Dude, the double horses look tough. They look so sick. It looks so sick. We're going to Dynamax. He's not going to Dynamax. But I'm still confused with what he's doing. A Selgor, you never see them. So I'm, I'm, I'm just scared, man. I feel like he's going to do something crazy and just win the battle in one turn. <laughs> A Selgor, use Mega Self Destruct. Kills everybody on your team instantly. <laughs> I'll make what you mean. Let's see. Maybe Expanded Force from the Mail and DD. Final Gambit. That's what he's doing. Hey, you're chilling me. Okay. Um, I, 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 I guess that's fine with me. I, I guess that's fine with me. I don't mind it. Like, <laughs> it's not too bad. <laughs> I mean, that works. <laughs> we get a chilling day. Final game. I forgot about that one. Once I saw that, I was like, oh, that's what he's doing. <laughs> I mean that works for me. We're gonna go into top of Finny now from here. Change the surge into our favor. We take out him and he brings out Urshifu. Lovely. 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 Go ahead and bring out that Urshifu. Bring him out. And his thunder's coming out here. Let's see. Regilecki. Alright, we're going after you, Mr. Regilecki. Misty Surge is popping. Misty Surge is popping. Okay. I could guard and just toss a hailstorm out. I definitely want to hailstorm over into you. And are you going to guard? I'm definitely going to do this. Run it. Run it. Let's see what he does. He might close combat, so I, maybe I should have guarded it. Close combat's looking a little scary. I could have swapped. The Cinema would have been nice. But hailstorm will definitely take you out. But who's he going to die to, Max? This is a real question. Maybe the Regilecki? Maybe not. We're plus one. We're plus one. And we're plus one on special defense, which is huge for the squad. Well, not for a squad, just for a glacier. And that would have been big for Top of Mini. Let's see how this one plays out. Dude, he final gambit me. I was like, yo, what you mean? You went right after me. Like, chill on me. All right, so who's he going to Dynamax? I'm I'm thinking Regilecki. But I think he's just going to try to close combat on me. Let's see. Yeah, there goes the Regilecki. Okay. He might double up into my horse, and then we might have a problem. I'm hoping he protects the Urshifu, because my horse should be able to eat up whatever just Regilecki has to offer. Close combat's looking scary. There's a good lightning. Go into Finny. No, you do not. He's doubling down into me. He's trying to take me out with this close combat. Let's see how this rocks. Let's see how this goes out. Now, is that thing orbed? I don't see it being orbed. I see it being a special attacking. Finny, there's close combat. Eat this up. We eat beautiful. Beautiful. That's GG's. Get him out of my game. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. That's G's. Try to take out my Glacier like that. Not happening. Not happening. Gleam's going to take out Urshifu, no problem. He's down to a sash. But, but, Hailstorm coming in here. Plus three on attack. Definitely going to take out Regilecki. And then the Buffus is just going to take out Urshifu. That's G's, baby. Give me my first win. Give me my first win. Hand it over here. It was a smart play by him because it would have been really, really close if he would have took out Glacier there. Let's just say he takes that Glacier, we bring out Incineroar, we get that attack drop onto that, uh, that, what's it called, that Urshifu. And then I just, uh, Gleam again. Actually, no, I would probably just fake out onto the Urshifu. Well, that'd be really close. He might, he probably would've took that battle if that would've took out my Glacier. Because Regilecki would've taken out Finny in one hit. But so, we take those wins, we're one and one, we can hop into our third and final battle and look for that winning record. I want you guys to take a second... And look at this guy's team. That is hilarious. I'm not even going to lie. I love it. We're sitting at about 5,000 rank. 
for Master Ball tier, and we're going up against this. So round of applause to this guy. He's got himself a Dust Snort team with, I'm guessing, Steam Engine, Weakness Policy, Colossal to pair well with that Squirtle. Then he has the Heracross, the uh, Shenotic, and the Storm Drain Gaston. You gotta love it. I'm loving this so much. I hope he beats me. But who should we go into? How should we play this one? I feel like Incineroar could be great here because we can go for a flinch turn one. And then I can rock out with Finny. Could rock out with Finny. Or I can just go into... Yeah, let's go Finny here. Let's go Finny, bring Regilecki. And then in the final spot, we bring Spectre. Could bring Spectre. I can withdraw you and just go Spectre turn one. But I really do like having this top of Finny. It's Finny that's top of. Let's go Regilek here so we can take out Squirtle. I'm gonna bring Tapu Finny and then mm, let's bring Glit. Let's bring Spec. Let's bring Spectre. We haven't bring Spectre at all game. We're gonna go with these two, yo, dude. I'm loving this. Look at this dude's team. Look at this dude's team. Yo, more people should be like this. This game will be so much fun. Even if they just balance out more Pokemon, like make more off-meta Pokemon more viable in the game, it'd be awesome. Just change up stats and all that. But there's the Colossal and Squirtle combo. Which I'm just gonna fake out that Squirtle and say, hey Squirtle, let's fake you out and take you out. That's the combo. It's called the fake out takeout. Dude, we got the rhyme. We got Charming Guard and we got the fake out takeout. <laughs> Intimidate popping. Let's get rid of this Squirtle. I don't care if he really takes out my uh Regilecki from here. But I'm just gonna take him out. Let's go with that. Fake out, take out. Use your combo. Fake out. Mwah. Now we go for the takeout. <laughs> Wild charge. Just fake out, take out work. 100% of the time. Fake out, take out works. Every single time. Get him out of here. Poor little Squirtle. Poor little Squirtle. Is he going to go for an EQ or something? What are you going for? Meteor beam coming in here. Okay, so you taking out. And do you have to charge that? Or are you power herb? That's my question. No way you're herb. He's herb. What? He's not policy. Who are you going after? Take out my Incineroar. Gotta be Incineroar. Yep, my Incineroar. <laughs> Thanks, Power Herb. Came out crazy. Alright. So we know we outspeed him now. I might just Dynamax him. Or Dynamax Top of Finny. I'm gonna roll out with you. We'll have Spectre in the back end. Let's Dynamax this Finny. Get rid of this Colossal. I'm not trying to deal with it. And who's he gonna send out from here? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> the one Pokemon. Oh no! <laughs> the one Pokemon, dude. And I'm gonna try to gleam here. Could go for another wild charge. Come here, play. We're gonna we're, we're going for this. <laughs> the one Pokemon, dude. The one Pokemon he sends out. I thought we were sitting pretty. I thought we were sitting pretty, and he brings out Gastro, man. I think he's going, he might pick up this double kill. Brings out Gastro, dude. Buttery biscuit. I've been sitting gorgeous. Wild charge comes through. Built. Doing a decent amount of damage. Take some recoil. He might pick up the double kill here. He's not policy proc. He is power herb, though, which is scary. Combine's going to get boosted. We know he is special attacking. Special attack raising, and I get a special defense boost here as well. Earth power is probably going to come in here. Oh, he's overgrowth. Ouch. Ouchies. We are able to eat. We are able to eat. Leftovers and overgrowth we're going to get, which is huge. And I get to bring out Spectre. Well, I'm going to have to Dynamax. Earth power is going to come through here. We, we saw that coming from my way. Down goes Regilecki. I can't believe he just did that to us. He brought out the Gastron. I saw that. I was like, no. I was like, no. When we have a Finny out here and a Regilecki. We couldn't have two worse Pokemon out here at, right now. He might Overgrowth again. I'm definitely going to go Spectre and Dynamax him. It's my last hope. I want to see this thing's stats. Check out this thing's stats. He is boosted on a special attack, which I, which I love. I'm really liking. I'm going to get after it that way. I could Snarl. I could Protect and Snarl. That could be a huge play for us. And then Dynamax. Definitely want to protect the Finny. 
Snarl could be huge. We know this thing's special attacking. I think we just had the Dynamax. Oh, dude, I want to Snarl so bad. Hmm. Let's go for a Snarl. Let's go for a Snarl here. There's my Protect. I might Dynamax to Finny next turn, depending on what goes on. Snarl should come out here first. Get the drops. That's big. That's big for us. I wonder what's going on here. We do need a Dynamax soon. There goes the Volklith. We're going after Finny or Spectre. Spectre is able to eat. Well, we will get off another turn with Spectre. Unless he double unless he doubles down into it. He's gonna double down. Muddy Water's gonna come through here. Dodge it, Spectre. Dodge it, baby. I need you to dodge it. Ouch. Ouch. That one hurts. Eat it. We eat. Okay. No, Volklet's taking us out. Dang it, man. Eat that. Eat it. Eat it. Man. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Not looking good for your boy. Not looking good for your boy. We take that. And... I don't know what to do here. Do not know what to do here. We have... Well, I mean, we have Dynamax to go for this win. Not looking good for your boy here. I think our win streak's over, ladies and gentlemen. Triple Horse just didn't do it for us. Triple Horse just didn't do it for us. I got a Dynamax. Gotta go for the Starfall. Might as well try to take you out. Let's see how, how this goes down. We are special defense boosted. Um, hmm. If I can take out Gaston in one hit here, then we have a shot. And we have a small little shot here. Let's just see how this goes now. Because I know one max guys will take that out, no problem. We get some more HP. We're going up to 180. Can we clutch it up with this Finny? That'd be insane. Starfall comes out. We need to KO here. We have plus one special attack, so maybe we can. No. Nope, that's G's. Run it. That's G's. We gotta run. We gotta run this battle. We're not running it, though. We're not running it. We're gonna go out with a little bit of dignity here. Wind streaks come to an end. There's the overgrowth. Should be able to eat decently fine here, though. Yeah, all day. All day easy eats. But we can't do anything because we gotta get rid of that Gastron. <laughs> that Gastron has gotta go. And just change the terrain back. So we are gonna get a little bit more HP again. Gastron's going for Earth Power. That's easy eats, dude. Top of Finny's just riding by this much. Full of coming out here. Give me my HP. We need as much as we can get. We need as much as we can get. Okay, so there's that. They're all getting HP. Gastron might protect you. Which would be the smart play if Gastron protects. Because I cannot hit that, uh, that Colossal. I'm going to go here. I could guard, but no. We're going for this. Gotta take you out. Come on, Jeans. Clutch it up. I need Colossal to miss here. Pretty much. I can see us eating up a shot from him. But the thing is, Bulkleth comes out first. putting up a fight we're putting up a real good fight here but it's not looking good you guys know it i think the win streak is over i think it's coming to an end here ladies and gentlemen there's protect from gastro there it is smart play and starfall maybe pick up a ko probably not do it do it do it do it nope no nope 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 <laughs> dang man rough set of battles play some good good guys today but I'm glad we lost to this team. I'm really glad we lost to this team right here. Dang. We went for a heat wave. I guess he only had meteor beam. Right? I guess he only had meteor beam. I can't I, can't, I have to take out Gaston. There's, there's really nothing we can do about this. I have to take out Gaston. I cannot get after that Colossal until this thing's over. But this is like the only team, like, I'm glad I lost against this team. He did play this one really well with that Gastron. Gastron really came up clutch for him. I feel like we had this one in the bag if he brought anybody but Gastron. And I probably should have played around that. But I did not expect him to really bring it in here. He went with the Squirtle combo. We got rid of the Squirtle with the, uh, what was it, the fake out, take out. We got rid of that easily. But then he had Colossal set up with plus one with the Meteor Beam. And it just worked out really strong once he brought out that Gastron. Heat wave comes through. And we eat up a Volklith. E, don't go down. 
No! <laughs> I was gonna say, if we can eat up a Volkla, then we can get rid of that Colossal, no problem. Hopefully the next Pokemon misses. But that's gonna be GG's. We got one and two. Our win streak comes to an end, but I'm glad we got to show off the Triple Horse team. This team was a blast to show off for you guys today. I hope you guys still did enjoy today's video, even though our win streak came to an end. We went one and two for today's video. The first battle was really close. We won because of that ally switch. Second battle, we got that win. And third battle, we lost because of a Storm Drain Gastron. So I thought it was a solid uh, video all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.